So as usual, somebody DM'd me the other day and they said, have you seen the latest and the greatest of blockchain play to earn games? And I said, no, why are you doing this to me? Why do you want to see me suffer? And then they linked this, OX Battleground. I don't think I even said that actually, I think I didn't respond. And as you can see here, just fantastic right off the bat, they've got a picture of uh, Sam Bankman Freed, but because they don't want to get in trouble for using his likeness, they obviously make him a little bit more podgy. They put WTF on his shirt instead of FTX and they call him Simon Brain Fried, which is not all that funny, but... And then they don't say wanted dead or alive because they probably don't want to look like they're putting out a, a hit on his life because that obviously wouldn't be a very good business decision. But Tokens Reward on OX Battleground, can you play it? I don't know. Uh, apparently, they have a they have a thing here and they say the events, characters, names and firms depicted are fictitious. You know, this is a... The stunning collapse of one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges sent shockwaves through the market. We are focused on one man in particular today, Simon Brain Fried. Ping so what, they built the whole marketing off just putting out like a fictitious hit in their little game world on... Sam Bankman Freed. This is just, it's just weird. Bitcoin over 20% and coin WTF to a new all time low. The fallen crypto mogul whose troubled exchange WTF may have to seek bankruptcy if it doesn't get a rescue. The, I'm going to mute the audio because I'm almost certainly going to end up getting copy claimed for, for show, for listening to audio in this. But the sound effects before I did, just know they were really, really bad. And I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be depicting. There you go. Simon Brain Fried, Freed. They found him, he's running through the woods. And there you go, they've captured him. I've no... Uh, this looks like a mobile game, though. It looks so low quality. Let's look at the game trailer before we read too much into it. Let's see what they're showing. Eye blocks. I'm just again gonna mute the music. I don't think it's gonna add anything to it. I'll make my own sound effects. I'll be like a South Park episode. I'm, I'm not actually gonna do that, but there you go. Of course. Just two characters stood looking at each other for just nay reason. For considerably longer than is absolutely necessary to convey any kind of point. I assume they're going to start battling now. Yeah, it's like a 80s action movie. They're going to have to run and like roll and pick up the guns and then they're going to start banging out. neither of them can blink that dude's obviously going to win because he's cybernetically oh it's agent 47 whoever is controlling this has never played a video game before what the fuck is this supposed to be conveying doing a bit of H NFT burnt NFT minted Tokens earned. There you go, look. You can buy Cyborg X, Dante, or Athena. Human breed. Breed Cyborg. <laughs> There's a supply drop from the eye blocks. I assume there's going to be so many people battling over these supply drops, look. Oh yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen such high octane gameplay. I was excited. I was I was on the edge of my fucking seat. This is the future, I, as people tell me. Um, yeah, I mean, it just basically looks like they've got an environment in Unreal Engine, and then they've just went out on the street and found people and said, have you ever touched a computer before in your entire life? And they said no, and they went, you're perfect. Come and show our uh, blockchain game, and you're going to try to click on the enemies and shoot this gun obviously try being the operative word because you're going to fail really badly and they probably thought this looks really cinematic and epic but it doesn't it looks fucking dumb play a competitive game that is fun to play alone or with your friends or strangers doubt earn earn rewards every time you win a match or defeat an enemy doubt own 
own rare nfts with real utility all skins guns ammo skills are nfts amazing Ah, oh, yeah, I'm dropping in hot, guys. Let's go and battle. Have you bought your NFT ammo? No, I ain't got any ammo. Oh, it's fun then. Great. I had a great time. Sell. Sell your NFTs and exchange your rewards for other cryptocurrencies. Fantastic. The Battle Royale, PUBG, and Call of Duty inspired game where players can fight on their own or form powerful teams and compete against each other. The mission is to survive in different gameplay modes. One against all, aka free for all. Play on your own and kill as many opponents as possible to earn valuable rewards and rare NFTs. Amazing. Team play. Form a team and fight against others in a time-based battle. Safe house. A member of your team is held captive and your mission is to bring him to safety. This is basically the plot line of um, all cryptocurrency. Your friend has bought cryptocurrency and he's trying to play this game. Your mission is to convince him it's fucking shite. Unfortunately, you're going to fail because he's got NFT profile pictures on Twitter and he says things unironically like hodl to the moon and this is definitely the future. The game is free to play. However, surviving will be a challenge. You, just like real life then. So this is basically a perfect allegory for real life. Real life's free to play, but surviving is a challenge, especially depending on where you're born and in what circumstance. So really, this is more art than it is an NFT game. This definitely has value on that basis. I'm trying my best, guys, to give this value. You start with one of the few default characters, unarmed, without any ammo, and without any special skills. Your mission is to find a gun and... dot dot dot... survive. If you buy a special character or acquire him during the game, you can upgrade his skills. Pay to win. It's pay to win. Like every other one of these fucking games. You could start naked, without weapons, and be a useless wanker. Or you could spend money and drop in with a fucking LMG with thermal scope on it with cybernetic cyberpunk 2077 fucking upgrades to your entire body and just straight be doming kids. Each NFT character comes with a special skill set to handle specific or multiple weapons, gain an advantage over your competition by being able to use a shotgun, rifle, machine gun or grenades and you better don't run out of ammo. Amazing English. Um, but yeah, literally just says here, gain an advantage, aka pay to fucking win amazing i love when people prove my point for me all the time i just love being correct nfts with in-game utility all nfts come with special utilities characters have special fighting skills i.e some can use a rifle others a shotgun you can acquire or upgrade special skills by mint breed burning your character i mean this just sounds like some kind of fucking nightmarish hellscape have you bred your character? No, I'm not mentally unwell. All guns, which are NFTs, have limited ammo, and while in-game ammo can be collected, you might run out of it during the battle. <laughs> oh, that's so fun! That's so... I love my games where... What do you have to do? Like, go and hide in a house and then pull out your credit card? Like, yeah, let me buy some ammo real quick. Fuck you. And then they just explain their, their technology. Read the white paper. No, I'll pass. Here you go. Look, you've got Ryan. You've got Neo. Not sure that that's allowed, fellas. You've got James. The, this font is fucking awful, and because it's sideways, it's even worse. Isn't this basically the dude from uh, Deus Ex? Isn't that literally what they're going for with this one? Aleko, probably saying that, that wrong, it's okay. And Annie, the character that looks like they have seen way too much shit. And then they've got their team. Uh, cool. Amazing. Oh, look, they're on British Virgin Isles. Tax Haven. Love it. Let's incorporate our company. Where? Tax Haven. Why are we doing that? Cryptocurrency. Uh, but yeah, that's, you know, that's the future. I, too, am living in the best timeline. And I definitely can't wait to replace... If you look at PUBG, which even when PUBG released, it was a little bit broken, but PUBG was... F if you were there on release of PUBG, it was fucking epic. It was amazing. I couldn't stop playing it. My friends couldn't stop playing it. It was epic. In all senses of the word, it was a great experience. This is releasing years later, and nobody in their right mind, unless you are on some serious, serious debilitating drugs, like I'm talking very close to being an unable to fucking speak, can say this looks good. There's no chance. If, if you do, I don't believe you. You're a liar. And then you compare this to, to PUBG or any of the other survival games. Like, nah, man, it's, it's just not good. But as always, people are going to say, you just look at the bad games. Give me the good games. I'll look at them as well. I think what we need to do is take another look at Star Atlas. That's one people keep bringing up to me, which I did Google. There doesn't appear to be any new gameplay. Um, Alluvium, I know there's gameplay for that. We'll definitely take a look at Alluvium at some point. I might actually try and play the game. 
I'm sure people let me know in the comments. That dude will probably be around again that's always around that tells me to go look at the corn farm and cornucopia. Corner fucking copium, as we like to call it. But there we go. Uh, thanks for watching as always. See you next time. Peace out.